Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and I am super stoked for this. I actually just woke up, I, and I have to be at work in about an hour or so. Uh, yes, I'm working like a weird shift, graveyard shift right now, and then I'm going to go back, but I was so excited for this game, I just couldn't help it. I woke up, I was like, you know what, I gotta go check this out. And as I load up the game, cause thinking like, you know, maybe I could get all the settings set up, it, uh, it hits me with the letter from Hogwarts, and I didn't want to miss out on it. And so I wanted to record this portion of it so that you guys can see it too. I want to start a YouTube series for my Hogwarts adventure. And you know, this game being extremely popular throughout the whole world right now, I just want to record my experience and my time at Hogwarts. Uh, I really do love Harry Potter and um, I'm sure that like Everybody else have their own way, their own houses, and their own idea of how to play this game. And this is mine, and this is my adventure. So we're going to start off with the letter. I'm not going to play too long. Like I said, I got to get ready for work. I just want to start this off, maybe do some character creation, and then uh, kind of like a teaser. And then we'll go right into part one later on. So here we go. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. As a fifth year student, as a fifth year student. So that I already knew. I knew that we were gonna be like some kind of like transfer students during our fifth year. So we've already been like a wizard for a while. Turn begins on the first September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic on adults the age of 17 outside of school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eliezer Fig, Eliezer Fig, to help Professor Fig to help you uh, hone your spell casting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of the term feast and sorting ceremony. Your sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. So, <laughs> that's gonna be cool. So I get to mess with magic before I even arrive to school. All right, let's, let's check it out, man. Oh, so this is where I, I uh, create my character. Sorry about that, my phone just went off. Actually, honestly, this person probably looked the most like me right now. You, what, do you guys think so? <laughs> Let's 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 pick let's start out with him. I think he's the closest one. Mm, mm. I'm wearing a beanie right now, so you guys don't really know what my hair. My hair look more like this. No, uh, actually, I don't know. I'm not gonna spend too much time creating character. Very Asian. I like it. <laughs> all right, all right, I think it's either him or him. I think I go with him. It's the most Asian. My hair actually used to look like that at one point. Not even like, like not even like two or three months ago, because that's how I keep my hair. All right, we're gonna stick with that. I like it. Oh, here you go. So my jaw structures like that. It's nice that they have uh, um, options. I, I, I was I was under the impression that there wasn't many options to create your character. I wouldn't say. Okay, now that I'm gonna just. Let's, can I change it darker? Yeah, here you go. I'm darker skin, right? Getting pretty close. The hair pretty much is what I had for, for a little bit. I'm not gonna wear glasses. I, I don't care to wear glasses. A lot of people may, but not me. Alright, let's go. Uh, oh, here you go. This is where you figure out the hair. Ah, uh, okay. What's this do? Oh, they're called non black hair. Uh, let me see if I can find, like, that's pretty good. You know what? If, if face is like that, let's go. Yeah, yeah, that works. That works. Okay. We will, let's go back to here again. Um, <laughs> yes. That's so funny. Yo, I really think this is the best one. I, re I really think so. Yeah, I, I can't really picture anything else. Let's go back to the facial features one more time. No. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely him. Yeah, definitely him. 
Just a little darker. Maybe darker? No, I'm not that dark, right? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm using like my webcam. Yeah, I'm about there, right? Yeah, that works. We'll keep that hair. Uh, complexion. Oh, look at that. I don't have freckles, though. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Eye color. I am dark brown eyes. I can't tell. Can I zoom in a little more? Which one's dark brown? I think that's the. I think that's the best I can do right there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Eyebrow color. Nope. Uh, sunrise. Yeah, maybe like that. Yeah, it's more like that. Here you go. What else we got going on? Voice one or voice two? Let's see voice a one. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Wow. I'm a... eager to get to Hogsmeade. Nope. That was quite something. I am indeed a student, but I could very well... A few cobwebs and... It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. All right. Oh, I can set my difficulty. A balanced game. A demanding gameplay challenge. You know what? I am actually probably going to play hard. Should I play hard? You know... Oh, my gosh. How am I going to rock this? You know what? We're going hard. We're going hard. Never played this game. We're going hard. Uh, now, name your character. I'll name my character. Yeah. Of course. I need to get a last name. Alright. I'll get my last name. No problem. I'm a wizard. And I'm a... Uh, and that's it. That's it. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Like I said, it isn't... Oh. Ah. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George! Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. that yeah let's go yeah, I'm pretty stoked about this yeah so I, I was told that like playing on a controller is the way to go uh, for now I'm gonna start off with muscle keyboard because that's my jam I enable um, the RTX mode on this but I haven't, I don't think I ever set the software yet or the game yet in order for it to be enabled. I just kind of let it run. It gave me a warning saying, hey, you got to restart the game in order to enable RTX. But I was like, fuck it, I I'll wait. Before you left for Scotland. <laughs> sure. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? It's me, Jan. A new student. Oh. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. 
It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Oh boy, what's this, what's this? Common bell. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait! We do Oh! George! What happened to George? George come. Escalated so fast. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Oh, okay, go here. All right, let's go. Excellent. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... Yeah, George! What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Yes, I'm on the move now. All right, so, I mean, there's so much cutscene, I didn't really get to talk. I did not look into any spoilers or anything about this game. I knew that when I got this game, I wanted it to be Hufflepuff, which I'm going to end up choosing that house anyways. And it's funny too because like when you when you start this game, it asks you to sign up for the WB Games uh, like Harry Potter fan club thingy, and they a lot they let you um, take a test for the sorting um, the sorting hat test for the houses, and they ended up putting me in Hufflepuff. I'm thinking like, okay, maybe they're gonna put me somewhere else because I keep thinking I'm Hufflepuff this whole time. But guess what? I'm still Hufflepuff. There's nothing nothing changed about me being Hufflepuff. I don't 
I mean, I feel like me and like two other persons in the Hulkbolt, everybody else is either a Gryffindor, a Slytherin, and I actually know less than a handful of Ravenclaws. I don't know too many Ravenclaws, surprisingly. But um, well, yeah, with this game, this game is amazing. I, I, I want to log my entire adventure. I am going to edit out like dead time in between, but overall, um, I'm going to start off with the mouse and keyboard. Might switch to controller. They say it's more relaxing and enjoyable with the controller, but but we shall see. But I'm just glad that I got access to this immediately versus uh, you know like other other uh, ports that aren't gonna get this game till later on down the road. So um, yeah, let's rock on just a little longer. And like I said, this is just gonna be a short intro a teaser before I really get into the gameplay. Just kind of like grab grasp the story and see what's going on. Oh, word. This looks great! Oh my gosh! How far did that poor key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you think the poor key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that poor key to George for a reason. And I believe that she. And now George died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Of course, Professor Fig. You my boy. You've been uh, helping me train before uh, step. I enter Hogwarts. Mind myself, can I really fall off though? V. Alright. I travel to the Okay. Let's go. How do I walk? Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Joe, climb. Okay. Miriam so they're, they're years teaching me the basics right now. Evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few. Seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I'll try my best not to talk too much during dialogue. I want to. I want so, you guys to be as merciful as I was. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Oh, what we got going on here, Professor? Is that ice? It's not oh, cold nice. enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Oh! Focus on the center. All right, so. Tap to perform a basic. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Excellent. Using a camera. To select an active uh, target, okay. Use your camera to select. Uh, oh shit! Oh, we're gonna get into a fight, aren't we? That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Oh, sorry, sorry, professor. Hold on. I'm excited. Oh, oh, look at this. My dude did it like like the whole like back back turn pivot spell casting. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I'm excited for this guys. Bro, what's going on here? Ah, wow. up there. Ah, uh, yeah. Yo, what? Yo, I can do this too. Okay, I was gonna say. We're close now. It's just ahead. I'm just gonna hit everything. Good thing there's no friendly fire. Professor would have been pissed at me for zapping his ass. I'm a terrible student. 
Steady yourself! Dude, this is beautiful. This game is Repair beautiful. Rose. Repair Rose. Other spells that you taught me, Professor Fig. Almost there. This game. Oh, the details. Why would someone put this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. All right, all right. I'll stop. I'll stop messing with the wand. It makes a lot of noise. Ha! One more. Okay. All right. The minimap shows your surrounding with the arrow in the middle. This is a place of objective. V to talk to your objective. Okay. Okay. So, so that's my objective. I need to figure out how to get there. Um, but yeah, I I'll try my best, like I mentioned, not to uh, talk too much during dialogue so you guys can have the same immersiveness. Right now, I'm so into this that my, I my, my computer chair is like sliding back. Like, I keep leaning into it. Um, Professor, let's see. this statue... This may have been his home. Uh, oh, there you go. All right, what's back here? What's back here? What's back here? I better not fall into a trap. I'm sorry. I, I see every little thing. I just want to like that enchanted yeah. crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Let's go. Ha, ha, ha. No. Uh oh. What's this, Professor Fig? Yeah, Fig. What is this? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the port key container. Where whoa. are we? Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't believe it. <laughs> Hello? Been on the job, huh? It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> oh. This way, then. Interesting. Stay close. Damn right, I ain't staying back here. <laughs> After you. Oh snap! I'll tell you, 
How many vaults are there? Take a look around. Hundreds. Right. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. <laughs> are private oh, so entrances cool. to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? A breath. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. My character seemed very uneasy about that. Professor, hmm? the old band that God was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow in the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. We're gonna get ambushed. Mad sus. Here we are. That security goblin mess us. Follow Professor Fig. All right, let's go. When was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Long ago, he didn't visit. I missed it. Thank you. I missed the dialogue. I have a memory of a goldfish, guys. I had no idea what, how long it, ha it has been. Professor, it's a trap. All right, let's go. Let's go, boy. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Professor Black. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Hmm. I see a door. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Reveal. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, what? Watch how you do this. Take your wand and guide it through the symbol and the path uh, to learn the spell. Press the corresponding. All right, so what? Wait. Steady your wand. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. I'm learning this now. So. That's pretty cool. Hi. Revelio. There. I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Okay, so gotta get a little closer and, and Revelio. A door. Mm. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... 
I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. I'm leading the way. Nice. All right, let's go. Ooh. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. Oh, uh, what? Mean, <laughs> yeah, but... Well. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There oh. will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yo, look at my hair. That's nice. My hair be nice, yo. Alright, Professor Fig. What's going on here? I'm a little concerned. It's a little, it's very dark. I, I'm, I can hardly see it myself. I don't know if you guys can see it, but... I'm trying not to raise the gamma too much, too high. Like, at the beginning of the game, it... I see it, something it. up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Interesting. Don't worry, Professor, I got this. When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Rebellion! I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Yes. Give it to me. Let's go. Oh, give me a new spell. Let's go. So how do I cast it? You acquired uh, a one lightning charm, Lumos, uh, which automatically has been slotted to spell to create a light on top of your Okay. So press one. To Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Okay. So uh, reflection had to match it right there. Oh shit! Look out! Potato! Woo! What was that? Ready. Thank you. Duty here. Oh my god. I know what block is though. Oh man, I got it. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. This is not easy. Review your objective and reveal the way forward. Well, I actually had to use two of my potions to keep myself alive. That was freaking hard. Oh, oh, I see. I had to, I had to, my objective is to block him. I'm like spamming him away. I'm supposed to block him. All right, let's go. What are you guys? There you go. He was teaching me how to block. I'm all here spamming in my attacks. Didn't realize. I got caught up in the moment, you know? <laughs> oh boy. Lumos. I got a Lumos. Professor! 
Where the fuck Professor are you Fig! I'm following Professor, this. where are you? This isn't good. No, it's not good where at am all. I supposed to go? Don't worry, this way. What's happening? There you go, what's over here? Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. A glowing tower. Alright. Revelio. I'm on my own this time. Yep. Let's see. Let's see me guide this. Guide me right here. Dude, I gotta fight all these guys by myself. I barely have potion. I literally use like. Oh no, this way. I need to align these statues with their reflections. I know. Alright, what's gonna happen now? It seems I have no choice. I'm gonna have to fight my way out of here. Oh, I gotta stand right here? Oh, I see, I see what you're doing. Yo, let's go! Hold it, you're doing uh, Protego to stun the enemy with a stoop fly counterattack. Okay, let's see. let's watch this video again. So, holding Q during Protego. Okay. Protego. I get it, I get it now. It gives me a heads up, and then I can press it, and I'll be able to stun them. That's pretty cool. This is not easy, guys. Lots of keyboard. It's not bad, but it's pretty cool. Uh, Lumos. Let's go. Sprint. Oh, fuck, I got sprint. Where am I going to? Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, guys. What an intro, man. I gotta get ready for work soon. <laughs> what am I getting myself into this time? I don't know. I like it. Lumos! Can I go in? Another boss fight? Okay, what's this? What's this? What's this? What's this? Investigate. Drink it. Is it a potion? I don't know what it is. Uh, Professor there Pig. you are. How did you. What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead.
Interesting. All is in place. The Porky is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's gonna be me. I want me that wizard. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. Oh, let's go. I was right. Ranrock. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just... Give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist... I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Dude, he's breaking I rules, have no man. patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm this not giving you guard anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> to fight him Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Yeah.
What's this? Is that hog's meat? What, what is this? Just a train? Oh yeah, let's go! <laughs> This game looks great, by the way. Absolutely amazing. And I don't even have RTX on yet, so I can't wait. go and like i said i only want to do a quick intro on this so whatever we once we get control oh no we're going right to the oh never mind i'm not ending this now oh good we haven't missed the sorting ceremony i'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Yes! My turn. Jealous. Black. <laughs> Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. This is awesome. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. How does this work? Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. Can't wait to explore. Um, I actually can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. That's honest. Mm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. What? How the fuck does it already know? Hell yeah, I'm Hufflepuff. See, I told you. <laughs> everything, all, everything goes pick Hufflepuff. I mean, unless there's a way that it, it knew that I was Hufflepuff because of all the stuff I've done with the WB site. I don't know. I have no idea. But correct. This is correct. I am a Hufflepuff. Better be Hufflepuff. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, he changed my rope for me? 
Thank you, Professor Weasley. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. What? What? Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Wow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Ha <laughs> ha, awesome. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance. Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself, as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Huh? Do I have to do this every time? Please don't... I... All right, cool. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. She's so nice. So nice. Oh. This is definitely one of those, like, feel-good game. I already, like... I'm, I'm super excited for this, like... <laughs> yeah, let's go! <clears throat> Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Welcome to Hogwarts! So, I know you guys can't see the quest on... on it's like, my webcam is blocking it, but this is overly exciting. This is perfect timing, too, because I really do gotta get ready for work tonight. And, uh... It's, again, I am very shocked that they picked me as Hufflepuff right off the bat. I, I really think when I registered and linked the game to the WB uh, fan site thing, I mean, they put me in Hufflepuff, so that might be one of the ways they decided that I'd be Hufflepuff, but I don't, I, I, I don't know. But like I said, throughout all my tests, everything, I've always been a Hufflepuff. I was thinking that they might put me in a different house, but they still put me in Hufflepuff, so I'm, I'm sticking with it, man. Team Hufflepuff, let's go. <laughs> well, um, I'm going to end this video now. And uh, like I said, this is a, a, a I say it's a small teaser, it's not because so much has happened from the beginning. We, we actually have a, a, a story about what, what's going on with Renrock and and I don't, I don't even know, like maybe my character has some extra ability that we have unlike other like ancient magic spells and whatnot that we can detect and use and see. Um, I think I might stick with Mouse and Keeper for a while because it doesn't seem so bad. I, I look at the bottom right, I see that there's four um, spell that's binded to it, and um, I don't think it's going to be uh, interesting. Oh, actually, I'm going to do this real quick. Rebellion. Maybe some secret right when I walk in. Alright, but overall, thank you for stopping by. Uh, I'll catch you guys on the next episode. I guess I'm going to call it part two. I'll call part one as intro. Part two is going to be when my journey starts, and I don't know how I'm going to go ahead and record everything. But I'm going to try my best to edit out dead air. Thank you for so much for dropping by. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.